This is a keyframe. It keeps track of information. Imagine keyframes as invisible helpers that track how things should move or change over time. Let's use position keyframes as an example. Say we have a square and we want it to move from one side of the screen to the other. To make that happen, we set a keyframe here to say, at this time, I want the square to be here. Then we set another keyframe after it to say, at this time, I want the square to be here. Let's hit play. Notice how smoothly the square transitions between keyframes? The software automatically fills in the movement so that it flows perfectly from one position to the next. Keyframes are also important for timing. The length of time between two keyframes decides how fast or slow something changes. For example, if we set the keyframes one second apart, it will take one second for the square to move. If we set them five seconds apart, it will take five seconds for the square to move. Keyframes aren't just used for position. We can use them to change rotation, size, transparency, and more. You can also use multiple keyframes to have as many properties changing as you want. In fact, the more advanced you get at editing, the more keyframes you're going to use. You may notice in advanced software, every property has its own keyframe. Whereas in some of the simpler editing softwares, they'll just use one keyframe to keep track of all the information. Multiple keyframes gives you more control, while a single keyframe keeping track of everything is just a little bit simpler. Keyframes are the building blocks of animation and video editing, and once you understand how to use them, the sky truly is the limit. What other topics do you want to learn about here? Be sure to comment below, and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe.